My name is Rina Sattar. I'm 44. I'm from Canada. I'm currently working in Freetown, Sierra Leone, at the Ebola Center. I'm the human resources coordinator for the whole project. I work with both expats and national staff, so that means recruitment, payment of wages. Regarding expats, I'm responsible for planning how many we'll need for a certain project, and then at the end, organizing the closure of the mission and their return home. We started in December and now it's February. The last patient left the hospital cured, so now we've started to close the project down. As we have no more patients in this treatment center, we've had to let staff go, about 200 of them. They'll come for their last wage packet and work certificate. It's always a bit chaotic on payday, especially when there are people who've been let go with the work certificates and everything. It's crazy. It's really hard. They are losing their jobs and several of them were unemployed before starting with MSF and will have to go back to being unemployed. But all the same, they were grateful that they've been able to work with us for three months, that they'd learned new things through their training. All the people here who work in an Ebola center are entitled to a risk premium paid by the National Ebola Response Center and other international bodies. But as 26,000 people need to be paid, the payment process is quite complicated. So almost every week, I go to the office of this committee in an attempt to speed up the process to make sure my staff are paid, because it's very important for them. I actually applied to work on an Ebola project because I thought there'd be a lot of people who wouldn't be able to go for various reasons. Family or problems getting back into their country after working on an Ebola project, so I offered to go. I was really expecting there to be dead bodies in the streets, a lot of stress, tension, people afraid to go out. But when I arrived, I saw that life goes on as normal. In fact, I actually found it much less stressful. So in Ebola projects, you're not allowed to touch each other, and for the first few days that seems really strange. You have to stop yourself from shaking people's hands or touching someone when you're having a laugh together. But after two or three days, it becomes normal, and now that I've been here for a month, when I watch a film in which people touch each other, I say, what are they doing? So it takes time to readjust to a so-called normal life where you can touch people. Everyone says it, but I really did want to help people. That's what I've always wanted to do since secondary school. But it took me a long time to find a job in this area. I don't think the positions in Europe, the United States and Canada are the same as being out in the field. It's not a matter of money at all. If I wanted to be well paid, I'd do something else. I really feel that I'm helping people.